uh, has a downcast face. And, but we say, why are you downcast, oh my soul? We know where our salvation lies. We know who our Savior is, Lord God. And you, who are the creator of the very fabric of our being, knows how to bring healing, Lord. And so we ask that you pour healing out mm-hmm. throughout the world, Lord God, that yep. you start in 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 our individual house and then it's spread out, Lord God, so yep. that we have the East Coast and the West Coast and the middle of the country, Lord God, that you would begin to heal America. Yes, Lord. That it would be a miraculous turnaround, Lord God. And we pray for the people that are suffering and Lord God, we pray for those here that are here. We say, yep. fear leave. And Father, we ask that this be an name opportunity right for people to draw closer to you, that people all over the world right yep. now would start to reach out to yes, you, would Lord. start to seek you, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. God, I thank you for allowing me to rejoice every day mm-hmm. since this has begun and just see how good you are and how you work in the most amazing ways and ways that we don't even see until they're done and we just you just floor us it's mind-boggling and amazing and so awesome and we just love that god and we thank you we thank you for bringing sunshine out after the rain and for um clean you know a spirit to just rejoice you rejoice you lord Yeah, it's springtime. It's a time of new life. And so we say, new life, come forth. Mm -hmm. Dad, do you have a prayer that you want to pray over it? Holy Father, we give you thanks and praise for your goodness, Mm -hmm. for your mercy. And we uh, just glorify you for that you have never lost control. And uh, even though we may not understand what you're doing and why you're doing it, we just know that uh, you have control of everything. And I would thank you for that. Thank you for that. And uh, we glorify your name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, so if anybody else just has a prayer, just go ahead and join in. Meanwhile, we can just be meditating on what we want the Lord to do in this situation. God, I just thank you that you you give us hope that by turning to you and fixing our, our eyes on you, Jesus, that we can find hope in any situation, in any circumstance. And so I just pray for hope among the nations right now, God, that yep. yes. places that don't have you to look to, God, that have never heard your name or know you before, God, that you would show yourself to them in the ways that you know best so that they can find hope, God, that when they look around them, they just see darkness, and I just pray that you shine a bright light into their life and that this may actually be an opportunity and an open door, God, for you to just shine your light into people's lives and that they come to know you and they come to receive you, Jesus, and receive your salvation that you offer us, that you have given us, that you paid everything to give us for, God, that you died and rose again. And I just pray for resurrection life as you move across the world right now by your Holy Spirit and that you would just bring people out of the Mm. darkest places in their life. Even though this may seem like a dark point, God, that you're actually going to shift it and it's going to make the the bright light of your kingdom, God, seem so much better and so much um, more healing and, and more res- restoration, God. So I just, I pray for your light across the world right right now, God, and I mm. pray for hope. Yes. yes. I feel like Matt should play a worship song on his guitar. <laughs> or Finn. <laughs> or Finn, yeah. You, you got a house full of musicians. Yeah, we've been doing that He's a, He can bust the ukulele out at the next one. So should we try and just do this every day? I'm down for it. For All right. sure, I love it. All right, let's do it.
Um, and anyone else that wants to join us? For sure. Huh? <laughs> How far away is the guitar or uh, oh, ukulele or something? You want to get a song for going? Oh, okay. We'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Aurelia said, "Stay tuned for that." Oh, oh nice. She's right. excited to hear that. That's oh. awesome. <laughs> so, um, so I'll, I have one other prayer. Sorry, um, when we were um, going Take to time. There's no rush. grab That's some so milk and um, in line, mm -hmm. you know, we've just been intentional about trying to connect with people that are going out, you know, when they have to go out for shopping or whatever, um, mm -hmm. as we pass them on the street when we walk, we just um, we want to connect, Lord, and um, be a conduit of your love and your goodness. So, God, I, I ask you to pray for, uh, or I, I'm praying, Lord, right now for um, Jeva and Jill. Um, Jeva's a dad who trust and loves you so much and has given his life mm -hmm. to you and um and is blessed by you tremendously god he's just so grateful and he's asking right now lord that um you come to his wife jill um and just take away the anxiety and the ocd and the other mental health issues right now that have, um, have had her leave him and the kids mm -hmm. Um, as she struggles with this, Lord, we just ask that you just soften her heart and have her come mm -hmm. home and um, just be with that family, Lord. And this is a great opportunity for them to just see you at work and see how good um, you can make something that um, the devil tries to disrupt. So, God, I just pray right now that if it be your will, that you just... Um, bring her home and bring them back together, Lord. We love you, Lord. We trust you, and we know your plan is the best plan, Lord. So we we ask that um, if if it be your will, that this be the plan. We thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah. And I'd also like to pray for the people in in Minnesota, the middle of the country. Um, their team, the God Town. I don't know if you guys know this. You probably do, but. Godtown got labeled an essential service, so um, they're able to go door to door still and apply social distancing and uh, feed the homeless. And so, Lord, we lift up Godtown and yep. we ask, Lord God, that, that your word would go forth, that you would make them be courageous and that as people, uh, as they come to people, that they bring hope and courage with yes, them, Lord yes, God, Lord. that they bring so much more than food and a mm. smile, Lord Thank God, you, but Jesus. they bring your very self with them. And I ask that in this time that places all over the world will start to rise up, yeah. Lord God, that will do the same, that yeah. will um, encourage the community, like uh, Leif said with hope, Lord God, that this world needs hope in this time, in times like these, Love, faith, and hope, the three keys, Lord God, that you've given us, Lord God. We ask that love, faith, and hope arise yeah. during this time, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And God, I just also ask that as um, we stay at home um, and work from home and stay together as families, that, Lord, you just, you make things easy for the parents that are struggling right now, and you just help them um, see you and their children, and their children see you and their parents, God, and you just... Um, you just bless those interactions, Lord, and you help things become fluid and easy um, as we're out of our regular routines and um, the normal ways of outlets that we have for um, getting out our frustration that we just don't take it out on one another, Lord, that they, um, that all of us just continue to see what a joy it is to be able to spend time together and be in this Sabbath together. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and Lord, help us not to see this as a curse, but to see the blessing. Every time there's a curse, Lord God, there's a blessing that can replace it, Lord. And I ask that um, that you would begin to give your people strategies in bringing hope, Lord God, and bringing light in this situation that um, it says that you use, that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And so, Lord God, we love you and we know that we're called according to your purpose. And yep. people all around the world that don't even know you yet love you and are called according to your purpose. And so, Lord God, I ask that you would begin to stir them up, yes, Lord God, and um, begin to uh, begin to draw them in yes, and begin to... Um, Give them the courage to rise up and represent you during this time okay. that the light would rise. <laughs> light is so much greater than darkness, Lord God. So we say, let there be light. Yep. Yeah. Next time, you could probably invite some more people, too, if you want to. This is a good way to do a prayer meeting, huh? Yeah, I like it. All right, we could do that. I just didn't have it quite set up, so. Uh, yeah, no, it, it doesn't even need to be yeah. this impromptu, and it's still really good. Okay. Um, awesome. We definitely need to get that worship team kicking over there. All right. You hear that, boys? You know, you know why? You know why that's so important? I don't know if you know this, but the worshipers were always Put in the front line whenever Israel would go to do battle. So in the spiritual realm, when you come into darkness or you come into a battle with worship, it sends the enemy scattered in confusion. Hmm. And so when you come in with a grateful heart worshiping, the devil just doesn't know what to do. He <laughs> drops dead and loses all his power. That's all it took. <laughs> This little light of mine, how about this? Yeah. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Take my light around the world, and I'm gonna let it shine. I take my light around the world, and I'm gonna let it shine. Take my light around the world, and I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I won't let anyone blow it out. Hallelujah. Woo, I like it. Jesus. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>